Welcome, everybody, back to the Independent Investor Channel for an update on Pluralock. It has been an absolutely barn burner month uh, for, for Pluralock, and it's um, amazing to summarize the uh, accomplishments of this company, some of the new board acquisitions. Uh, year to date, the company is up close to 2,000%, um, just shy of 1,800%. The stock performance has been on fire, one of the best performance stocks um, that I, I've seen in a long, long time. And and uh, it, it's nice to own a nice share block in the company. We made a small fortune here. I think it's just the beginning. I, I think you really need to take note uh, in this video. I'm going to highlight the summary from the CEO, Mr. Ian Patterson. Here's some comments for the first time and show you where that information is uh, provided so you can um, educate yourself up on the webinar that was just offered a couple of days ago. Uh, Scott Myers offers his remarks uh, around the financials of the company. And then finally, we get uh, an introduction from Brian uh, Cunningham, who's just been newly added to the Pluralock board, get his insights on the cybersecurity industry as a whole, uh, a little bit of his resume, uh, uh, which he offers to the Pluralock team and, and why. Um, it gives a great, great summary of where Pluralock is and and um, get us an understanding of, of where this company is going with regard to its expansion of its uh, critical services business. Um, Pluralock has onboarded 20 million in new business just in the first half of 2024 and, and coupled with their legacy business. But it 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 really is the sky is the limit for for Pluralock. And it's going to be fun to watch this company uh, close out 2024 uh, with a bang, but also where this company could end up going with the threats, um, with the global conflict and, and uh, geopolitical tension. Um, you know, there is no shortage of spending in companies' budgets, both with government and fortune. Uh, 2,000 companies, you know, uh, cybersecurity is here to stay, and uh, Pluralock should benefit from that, guys. We'll kick in here. We'll review the uh, investor summary for investors and pick out a few highlights for you, show you how to get a hold of that information for yourself, educate yourself up on the amazing things that uh, Pluralock is doing, both on the company side uh, as well as the stock side that's just been absolutely on fire, guys. Let's kick in, take a look at the news release. The following press release you can find on Pluralock.com under their investor relations uh, tab in their um, in their news uh, portion of their website. It was just released, and I think the timeliness of it is appropriate to summarize uh, an absolutely incredible start to 2024 for Pluralock. Um, a start that has seen this company go uh, from uh, 20 cents um, in, on their share price to quickly over a dollar in a couple of days. Um, it was a, a, an incredible re-rating of the company, still undervalued significantly for the amount of revenue that they um, expect on their legacy business, but more importantly, what they expect in way of their critical services business. So I invite you to Pluralock.com to take a read on this summary for shareholders and also to catch the um, uh, corporate update webinar that uh, Ian Patterson uh, put through with the, um, with the CFO, Scott Myers. And I thought it was really good. Kind of a bonus there. We get to hear the insights from their newest edition, uh, Brian Cunningham from from Palantir. Very interesting to get his insights. Uh, you can click over there, or you can just click on the investor uh, relations tab, and it's right there. Um, very very easy to get to. Uh, they did not include the Q and A section, but I thought the commentary. Uh, from the CEO, the CFO, and their newest board member acquisition was uh, extremely telling on um, where uh, Pluralock is here, uh, just over halfway through 2024. Um, and a lot to be expected here going forward on their margin expansion and their plans to uh, fortify and expand and grow their critical services business. As disclosed here at the top bullet, uh, summary for shareholders here put forth by Ian. So kick over there, check out that uh, that webinar. I thought it was quite good. Uh, I watched it in an entirety and, and just solidified my current uh, share position in this company um, in, in, um, in, in helping to fight the cybersecurity threat and to find their peace in the enormous cybersecurity business. Uh, but just a, a few things here to highlight. Over 20 million in new business. 
So this is in addition to their legacy business that uh, Ian talked about on the webinar. He expects uh, no change there in uh, modest to continued uh, legacy growth there in the uh, legacy businesses. Uh, and, uh, the, and, and, and then also in addition to that, um, to enjoy the continued expansion uh, in their critical services businesses, which is where most of the margin expansion is coming from. Uh, Scott talked about that year over year sequentially margins increased um, with their new businesses that they brought in. And it's going to be cool to see the summary for 2024. I think this is going to be a monumental uh, a trans transformational year, uh, as Ian has, has disclosed, uh, and they're proving it out in the numbers. Uh, so, you know, their earnings for last year was, was phenomenal. I think 2024 is going to be, is going to be even better, but, um, this just kind of highlights for you guys, give some color around the 20 million and do business. And I want to bring your attention to the contracts here, um, that uh, kicked off uh, just uh, as early as January 3rd of 2024 and as of late of just uh, this month um, with their uh, newest acquisitions and, and newest contracts that they've knocked down. But you, you can see here, guys, they're, they're knocking it out of park here. They're bringing in revenues. They're, they're hiring on the, their new sales staff um, by admission of Scott. They've already filled three of those positions and are looking to fill out the fourth to round out the sales team there um, on um, looking to leverage their existing relationships and 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 really even further solidify uh, by offering the plural lock critical services and bringing that in house and 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 Ian spoke about this and and it just makes for an even more uh, sticky customer a more long standing customer. Um, once they are able to showcase what they bring to the table on their on their cr uh, critical services portfolio. Um, so very, very cool stuff. And more color here. I encourage you to watch the webinar because it really forecasted um, what is highlighted here in this investor summary. Um, they discussed the importance of bringing on Brian Cunningham and Joe Sexton, respectfully, from uh, CrowdStrike and Palantir. Uh, Brian actually spoke on the, the webinar, which I thought was extremely, um, extremely telling. Uh, background, uh, impressive, was involved in the very first cybersecurity bill some 25 years ago. And he, he talked about how longstanding that bill has been. Uh, not a lot's changed, but the threat has ever grown. So very cool to, to, to check that out, guys. I wanted to bring your attention to this because it provides some level of substance as to why the re-rating happened in the stock. Look, I'm not going to get on here and rip and roar uh, about the stock uh, price. We all knew that it was undervalued at 20 cents, so we can't be excited about you know it rating to up over a dollar outside of the fact that we made some, some killer money on it. Uh, I think it's just the beginning. Now, I, I think that um, what they've got going on and, and the transformation within the company, uh, I think they're setting up for a, a much grander latter half of 2024, but more importantly, uh, for years to come in growing shareholder value. So check out the website, uh, check out this press release and check out the webinar. Um, you'll be glad you did. and It'll give you a more well-rounded uh, synopsis on, on where Pluralock is and more importantly, where they are intending to go, guys. I'll kick you back and we'll conclude the video. All right, guys, very good. So we've uh, come out of the news release here. I hope you've enjoyed this summary and explanation on a stock that's been absolutely on fire the last uh, month during its re-rating, uh, at least a bit, little bit of acknowledgement to how undervalued the company was, where it sat when we first started covering the company at 20 cents. Shot up over a dollar US. It's uh, digressed a bit, probably pro providing some phenomenal entry uh, to would-be share owners uh, and also new share owners that missed the first leg up because uh, this is just the beginning uh, for a company that pulls in this much top-line revenue and it is, is expected to grow those revenues, but more importantly, to expand those margins and keep a lot of that hard-earned dollar in so they can organically grow from the inside is important uh, for shareholders to understand what they own a piece of. And we're here to provide you that transparency on the channel. Guys, if you enjoy the information, subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments at the bottom of the video. Tell us what you think of Pluralock. Tell us uh, 
you know, if you've been able to enjoy this little bit of appreciation in the company, uh, up just a modest 2000% year to date here on the company where we're glad to push forward the information, but honestly more excited for the future of Pluralac and what the uh, future holds for uh, shareholders uh, alike. Thank you so much for tuning in for the totality of the video and good luck in your investment future. Thank you.